In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, it's my treat. A couple of days ago, we looked at the English phrase, it's on me, and it's my treat means the same thing. If you say to someone, it's my treat, it means you're going to pay for it. I could say to a friend of mine, hey, let's go to Niagara Falls for the day and let's do all of the attractions. Let's go on the zip line. Let's go on the, I was gonna say made of the mist, but I think the boat has a different name now. And then I could say, it's my treat. That means that I'm going to take my friend to Niagara Falls and I'm gonna pay for everything. So if you say it's on me or you say it's my treat, it means that you're planning to pay for whatever activity you're going to do. By the way, these videos, um, they're my treat to you, okay? It's on me this time. The second phrase I wanted to you, uh, teach you today is the phrase to treat someone to something. When you treat someone to something, it means you are buying something for them. A great example of this would be sometimes when we visit Jen's parents, Jen's dad will actually treat us to ice cream or he'll treat us to a meal or he'll treat us, a long time ago, he used to treat us to a round of golf. I'm not an avid golfer, but a long time ago, every once in a while, Jen's dad would treat us to a round of golf with him. He would take us to the golf course and he would pay for everything. We didn't have to pay for anything. It was really nice. So to review, if I say it's on me, like we did a couple days ago, or if I say it's my treat, it means that I'm going to pay for something. And if you say that you are going to treat someone to something, it means uh, the same thing. It means that you are planning to pay for it. So uh, often as a parent, I do this. I often treat my children to different things. In fact, we bought something uh, the other day. It's a bit of a surprise. I can't tell you what it is right now, but we are treating our kids to something in the next few days. I'll let you know what it is when it arrives. It's not a big thing, it's just a small thing. Anyways, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Key Park, and Key Park wrote a little two-part um, conversation here. The conversation is this. Person A says, hey, I know a wonderful restaurant. Let's go out to eat there. It's on me. And person B says, oh, that's news to me. You've never treated me, have you? And my response was this, nice. I like that you use the phrase to treat someone. I should teach that phrase. I just did. Uh, sometimes after a long day of work on the farm, Jen and I will take the kids and treat them to an ice cream cone at the local ice cream shop. Um, we used to do that more. There used to be an ice cream shop closer to us, but uh, that one closed down. Now we have to go quite a ways to find ice cream. But anyways, Key Park, thank you very much for that comment and for kind of introducing me or reminding me of another phrase to treat someone to something that I could teach. That was a lot of fun. But um, on, I talk a lot about going out to eat and I want to say a couple of things about that. One, Jen and I don't actually go out to eat a lot. We don't actually treat our kids to a meal in a restaurant very often uh, because it does cost quite a bit of money. Um, and also right now you can't actually do that. There aren't really any restaurants open. What I will say is this though. I do regularly go out and get pizza for the family. In fact, we just did that yesterday. Um, there's a small pizza place in the town close to us, which I like to buy pizza from because number one, it's delicious. Number two, they let me videotape in there once for the video on my other channel called Let's Learn English at the Restaurant. They were very kind and very gracious. Um, and so I feel like I owe them a bit, a bit of a thank you. And so I, Sounds kind of funny, right? The thank you I give them is I buy more pizza from them. It's not really a true gift, but we do regularly buy pizza from that restaurant as a thank you because they were very gracious and let me make a video there. Anyways, bye. See you in a couple days with another short English lesson.